From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and we love visiting with our friend, attorney Kim Bear. And this morning, Kim, uh, we're going to be talking about dogs, but not necessarily dogs in a positive light. Unfortunately, people get bit by dogs on a regular basis, and that's what we're talking about. Yes, yes. I thought today we'd give people tips if, you ha if you're bitten by a dog and tips if you own a dog. Okay. So, And I want to say right up front that I love dogs. Mm -hmm. I have a dog, so this isn't anything against dogs. No, we know that we all yeah. love dogs, but there are certain rights that people have. If you're a dog owner, you have rights, but if you've been bitten by a dog, you also have rights. Right, right. And, you know, there's 4.7 million um, injuries per year by dog bites. So, I mean, really? this is really a big deal. Okay, so let, let's get right into it and let's talk about the Iowa law. Sure. So, in Iowa, what a lot of people don't realize is there's no free dog bite. In other words, if my dog has never bitten anyone and it bites you, I'm strictly liable. Because people think that they've had that, you know, yes. that thought for a long time. Well, you yes. get one free one. No, you don't. No. You, you do not get a free bite. You don't. You don't. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, you can say, okay, I didn't know. The dog's always been friendly. It's never been vicious. It's never been mean. But if your dog bites somebody, and it's not just a bite. I mean, they can claw. They can knock somebody down. Yes. Yes. So if the dog causes an injury to somebody, you are strictly liable. Now, there are some exceptions. So, for example, let's say I have a dog and that you're trespassing on my property and my dog attacks you, that might be an exception. Okay. You know, maybe um, uh, if you are trying to break into my house, that might be an exception. So there are some exceptions. So, you know, if you have a dog that bites somebody, you might want to talk to a lawyer. Now, here's another question uh, that we need to answer. Uh, does it matter what kind of dog it is? It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it's the same it can be a little. It can be a little, ch little chihuahua. It can be a little chihuahua. It can be a Yorkie. It can be a pit bull. It can be a golden retriever. Um, you're still responsible no matter what, really, okay. unless you fall into one of the exceptions. Now, you mentioned scratching and clawing and, you know, you know, maybe some physical contact, knocking somebody over, that all comes into play. Yes, it does. If the dog causes an injury, that's all part of it. All so. right. So uh, now we'll talk about uh, liability. We're talking about the rights of everybody here. What about the dog owner? What is the dog owner's responsibility and liability? Right. So typically the dog owner is going to be responsible for, you know, the medical bills, for pain and suffering. A lot of times, unfortunately, these bites or claw marks leave scars. Okay. So you're going to have a permanent injury usually. Um, and uh, so, dog, so what we tell dog owners is make sure that you have home insurance that covers it. Um, you may need to get a rider that covers um, your dog. Uh, and then you also need to check with the, um, the ordinances where you live because every city is different. So Des Moines has some really strict rules about dogs that they deem vicious or right. dangerous. Okay. And if your dog falls into that category, you're required in Des Moines to, I believe, have a $100,000 insurance policy policy on your dog mm -hmm. um, with regard to but then I think West Des Moines is completely different so is Waukee so wherever you live if you're a dog owner you should just check the yeah, rules. Yeah every every so. place you live do make sure you check with what the laws are in your given town but uh, this is something that you really need to look into before something happens isn't it? Yes yes so before something happens you should do it um, you know and then if you if you are bitten by a dog um, or clawed or scratched or whatever you need to know you have two years from the date of the injury to bring a claim. Mm -hmm. um, typically, uh, when people hire us to do that, we send a letter to the dog owner, um, and also we send a letter to whomever owned the property. So let's say that... Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say I'm a landlord, and you're my tenant, and you have a dog, and the dog attacks somebody. Um, I might, as the landlord, also be responsible if I knew about the dog, if I knew the dog was a problem. So for the landlord, um, really you need to show that the, that, that the landlord, maybe the landlord has a rule, no dogs, but you have a dog and I knew about the dog, or I knew that the dog wasn't chained up, or I, you know, so landlords can be held responsible as well. Does it make a difference if it's a, like a fenced yard or, a, you know, no fence? Does that make a difference at all? It, it, it does, depending on what city you live in. So, okay. for example, in Des Moines, if, it, if your dog is considered to be a dangerous or vicious animal, um, then a, a fence is required, a chain is required. You can't just take the dog out usually on a normal 
leash. Really? So you'll want to look into all of that. Um, and so I tell wow. people, if you live in Des Moines, you really need to check the ordinance. Well, I did not know that. And, yeah. and if you've been bitten, now one of the things to keep in mind, if you've been bitten, uh, you have, what, two years? Yes, yeah. two years yeah. from the date of the bite. Okay, just want um, to reiterate that. Absolutely. Okay. And if you've been bitten, use your medical health insurance to pay for your medical bills. And, um, and then that way, uh, when the medical bills have to be paid back from any settlement, um, we'll get that benefit of the discount of the medical insurance. Okay, so a lot of things to keep in mind, a lot of responsibilities if you're a dog owner, and unfortunately, if you've been bitten, uh, some of the things you need to pay attention to, people will not want to get a hold of you and ask some questions about this, uh, either side of this. Uh, yeah. How yep. can they get a hold yep. of you? 515 injured or 515-279-2000. All right. Just, just give us a call. All right, Kim Bear, thank you so much. Yes. And next you. time, we'll, we'll talk about fun things with dogs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is Iowa Live.